What's up, gang? Uh, Antoine back with another vlog. Uh, this one's gonna be a little short vlog. Um, I ended up picking up a new vehicle, something that could fit the whole family in here, and already has an LS in it, so I don't have to do any LS swaps, which is gonna save the pockets a little bit more money, which means I can start the video off with long tube headers, uh, cam. Uh, I'm actually gonna dump this thing. I've start. I ordered a cheap kit on Amazon. Um, I'm doing a three five drop on a 2003 Tahoe. Boom. I don't know what I'm gonna name her yet, but I did a few things off camera just because my garage was packed. And from this Trailblazer SS, it's my buddy's. He has rod knocks, so we pulled the whole engine apart. My garage was a disaster. It was too cold outside, so I really didn't want to pick up a camera and record since it is winter time. Um, but yeah, welcome to the channel. I used to own this thing actually, probably about a year ago, and I ended up getting back. Oh my God, my camera is shaky. But yeah, I used to um, own this thing probably about a year ago and then um, got it back. But yeah, I already put the rear lowering kit on. Uh, you can't really see it because the truck is on jack stands, but you can see how hot the bumper is from the ground. But, uh, so the back is lowered. I just tinted the windows. I got LED tail lights, a sequential third brake light. Man, guys, I'm super excited for this one. I'm not going to lie, but, um, let me know. Should I do a roll pan in the rear? Cause I'm not going to tow with this. Cause I got that. To tow so let me know if i should get a roll pan for the rear but um at five inches in the back i'm getting some 22 inch reps um this is my front spindle right here for some odd reason the company only sent me one instead of two and of course just my luck i spent two hours getting this side apart and the one they sent me was for the opposite side yeah i'm excited about this it definitely needs some loving in the interior um, that white stuff down there is carpet freshener just because it smell like dead rabbits, baby. Yeah, she needs some new door panels. Uh, I can't decide on if I want to do get the brackets for the bucket seats, the, the actual racing seats, and I wanted to do the double stitch leather reclining racing seat. Um, headliner is is disgusting. The whole entire thing is disgusting. When I had this Tahoe, it took me about six days to clean it out. So believe it or not, this thing was actually a lot dirtier than this. Bent seat in the back. Like I said, I got to get new seats because these are a kit in the mail. I will shoot some more videos. This is getting color matched. I'm going to sand this down and then color match it the metallic gray. Same thing with the bumpers. Roof rack is off. Um, probably going to do a brow on the windshield or do the whole windshield 35. We'll see. So, yeah, I'll definitely keep you guys updated on uh, everything I do to this. Like I said, the only reason I got started on it already, only reason I got started on it already is because I was outside. It was raining, snowing, and I wanted those LEDs put in really bad. So I didn't want to pick up a camera, but... This thing actually looks clean on camera, but it is filthy. Sorry guys, I'm sick, so that's why I keep shaking. Camera shaking, but um. But yeah, there it is, 2003 Tahoe. Um, I'm gonna finish tinting these windows later. So, all right, I'll keep you guys posted in the next one, peace.